Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244 and today is our lesson number 149. The problem is number 14. Problem number 14, the very last problem on the page, number 14. Let's read the problems together. Let's turn to page number 244. Make sure you open to the, turn to page 244 and read the problem with me. It says, two cars started from the same point and traveled on a straight course in the opposite direction for exactly two hours. So. Here's our, here's our two cars, one is going that way, the other one is going this way, and they have traveled, we are told that they have traveled for two hours. This guy went for two hours, and this guy, we are told, went for two hours. Those are the two cars. Let's give them names. Let's call it car A and car B. Car A and car B. And they both traveled two hours, that's what we know so far. At which point they were 208 miles apart. So at the end of two hours, at the end of two hours, we, were, we are told that they are 208 miles apart. If one car can travel on average eight miles faster than the other, what are their speeds? Alright, so that's what it is. So we have two cars that have traveled that have traveled for exactly two hours as we show here in the picture. This guy is going for two hours, this guy is traveling for two hours in the opposite direction. One guy is going this way, the other guy is going that way. And at the end of two hours, we are told that the end of, at the end of two hours they are 208 miles apart. One car, we are told, is going eight miles faster than the other. So let, here's our solution. Let, let A, let, let, let letter A, letter A be the speed of car A. That implies that implies that the speed of car B, the speed of car B must be A plus 8 miles per hour. Because it's going 8 miles faster, that's all. Now, how far how fast are they going falling apart from each other? in a given hour. That's what we have to understand, you see? For example, for example, if I'm going this way on a bicycle at 3 miles per hour, 3 kilometers per hour, and you're going on a bicycle in the opposite direction at 4 kilometers per hour, if I'm going that way at 3 kilometers per hour and you're going in the exact opposite direction at 4 kilometers per hour, every hour we are 7 miles apart, 7 kilometers apart. So in order to figure out how fast we are falling apart from each other in a given hour, we have to add up both the speeds. In this case, this guy is going at 8 kilometers per hour, this guy is going at 8, 8 plus 8 kilometers per hour. So their combined speed as to how far they are falling apart every hour is this guy's speed plus that guy's speed. Let's, put, make, let's make a note of it. They're getting apart. I need the room. I need a lot of room, so I'm going to erase all of this thing now. We don't need any of this. They're getting apart. From each other. At the speed of. At the speed of. A plus A plus 8 miles per hour. The speed of the first guy and the speed of the second guy. That's how fast apart uh, they're falling apart, uh, going, going apart group. But we know, but we know that, the, uh, that at, the end of, uh, at the end of two hours they have traveled a total of 208 miles. Right here. 208 miles in two hours. Well, if they have gone 208 miles in two hours, if that's the case, if they have gone 208 miles, 208 miles in two hours, 
that implies that they must be going at 104 miles in one hour, half of 208, because their speeds are constant. And that's their speed. That is their speed. That implies that their speed must equal, we know that they have traveled, we know that they have traveled 208 miles in two hours. That implies that they must travel, they must fall apart at the rate of 104 miles per hour, which must equal the first guy's speed. That implies that 104 must equal the first guy's speed plus the second guy's speed. Very good, that's your equation. That's your equation. Let me just have to solve for that equation. The first guy's speed plus the second guy's speed must equal how far they're going apart in one hour. A plus A is 2A plus 8 equals 104. Subtract 8 from both sides. Subtract 8 from both sides. Eight cancels out and 2a equals 104 minus 8, 104 minus 10 is 94, so 104 minus 8 must be 96. Divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 from here and a equals 96 divided by 2. How many 2's in a 9? 9 has 4 2's. The remainder uh, 1 goes here and joins this guy becomes 16 because that 1 that goes and joins this guy is not a 1, it's actually a 10. This 4 is not a 4 actually, this 4 signifies 40 because it's in the 10 digit. So what we're claiming is that 90 has 42's, that takes care of 80, and the remainder, remainder of the 10 goes and joins this guy becomes 16, that's what we say. So the remainder of the 1 goes here and joins this guy becomes 16. How many 2's in 16? There are 8 2's in 16. So if one guy is going 48 miles an hour, then B must be going 48 plus 8, which is 56 miles per hour. One miles per hour. There you go. Those are those are the speeds. That's it. That's what they're looking for. Forty-eight and fifty-six. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.